All right, welcome along to the vlog. We're in this morning. We've pre-packaged, is that my lunch? Yeah. Wonderful. Ham salad. So we've pre-packaged the jerky, first thing I did, and then uh, we've had the first drop of aggregates delivered. So that's the, that's the building sand. We're just gonna be waiting now for the, uh, the pea gravel so we can mix our own ballast. And then what's left, I'm gonna be taking home and uh, putting on a little area where I've put some weed membrane for the dog to do a poo on at home, eh? Yes, very interesting stuff. So uh, we're just waiting for this delivery to arrive any freaking minute, and uh, then we're gonna start on the wall, the big wall. <laughs> And there we go, just like that. And now the hard work starts. Shoveling, mixing, digging, all of the above. the fourth mix we've got on and the other three I've dropped into the uh, into the footings channel and well a lot of concrete's gone into them I can tell you that much so it's absolutely shining bright out here uh, there we go so three full wheelbarrows full of concrete in there as you can just about make out I think and uh, here you can see how deep we're going on the edge there look so uh, we're gonna go right up to the top of these boards so there's a fair bit of concrete to go yet before we're finished and then we'll skim past this tree and if I can I'll be building block work across on that as well if possible that might be too much Level though, done it. You know, from one side to other. And then here, I'll probably just stop with brickwork 
and then we'll build just like a little bridge and then obviously if there's any fucking we always sit down or anything at least there's somewhere for it to fucking run which might do that pretty much by its point in it or if the tree trunk starts growing at least it's not pushing block work up but like come to end up where scaffolding is there and maybe here and then just do like a little a little arch I think that'll look nice feature. Buttons in, all the spare stones have been shoveled up and put onto the back of the van, we're going to take them home and put them in the garden this evening if I can bring myself to do it. And uh, yeah we've put some black and yellow tape across the edge so we don't get anybody trespassing on our uh, wet concrete and hopefully these will be all cured tomorrow so we can start maybe laying some brickwork. It looks way different though, doesn't it? Just taking the fence off makes it look completely different. Oh, it's gorgeous outside, folks. Um, we've got to run this pea gravel up home, but uh, before I do that, I'm going to treat myself to a pint, sit in the beer garden, set the tripod up, and try and grab some footage of a bird that we found nesting in the wall of the pub. Never seen anything like it. We've just spotted it feeding its little chick, so uh, I'm going to go there next door, set the tripod up, zoom right in on it and see if we can't get a few shots of this little sparrow feeding its baby chicklet. to zoom in a little bit there to get the shot of the house sparrow but uh, you'd be surprised there must be 15 people sat in the beer garden now because I had the camera pointed at it they're all sat there going look at the little bird <laughs> I think it's brilliant anyway uh, we've got to chuck a few more things on the van and then Stuart's gonna drop me off at home and maybe I'll have the energy in me to uh, to unload all this stuff and put it in the back garden before we wrap up the vlog. Right, so we're out with this old table and in with the new and then we've got all the gravel to put on there. So let's see if we can get this done tonight because I think it's going to kill me doing it.
legs in between it. Fucking yeah. Handball for me if you want to. Telling you, bud. Hey, okay. we're going. Are we it? Yeah, right in that far corner. That's it. Wow, that sun is bright. Not this, bad. folks, is my seven o'clock pint. Mm. Vacant gesture at its absolute finest. I kid you not. That's what we look like. Now we're all leveled out. That's an improvement, big time. We've got the Marjorie seedling plum tree. We've got the tay berries. We've got the tomatoes, we've got the strawberries, and bonus, we've got a load of seedlings in the old chicken bed. Coriander, look at all this coriander. So I'm gonna dig this up and pot it. And of course we've got the chickens over there. With a very British thing of putting your laundry out on a sunny day to dry. Hey, what a quintessential image. And Abigail's filling water balloons. Mm -hmm. They're not water balloons. What are, well, they're, they're balloons and they're full of water. <laughs> uh, it reminds me when I had to go to the, uh, the pharmacist as a young boy and uh, asking the lady in there if I could have a packet of rubbers. Can I have three Jorex, please? And she'd say to me, what do you want to do with those? And I'd say... Well, you never know when you want to throw a water balloon at a student, do you? Hey. Oh, God, Gemma. Was that supposed to be funny? Do you know what's funny? What? You. <laughs> <laughs> right, anyway, it's seven o'clock. We're going to have a domestic, big time. She's going <laughs> to... Yeah, so I'm going to relax now, edit the vlog, folks. It's been a really productive day. I'm not going for a run today because... I've already done a load of manual labour right up until 7pm. That's a day. I'm nearly 40 for crying out loud. We'll see you tomorrow. Gemma, what have you got in mind?
You're a dirty girl. Yeah, these are for you. Hello.